everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Sorry, my posting is a little later than normal for Mondays, but I have a really fun little mini book kit for you that is on the Rustic Playground um, August kit. You can join her website, her membership of Vintage Visionaries Club, and get access to everything or you can go to her Etsy shop and just purchase the pieces that you want. These are digital printables. And if you use my code Cindy, you'll get 50% off for the first year. So it's a pretty good deal. Check it out. I've got a Rustic Playground linked below with the affiliate link for myself. And we're gonna make mini books. Now, if you remember, or if you saw back on my site some time ago, we made memory uh, little mini books, not memory books, but little mini books, and added little charms to different ones and made this little bookcase too. And I love that she adds this little project in most of her kits. It's really fun, and that's what we're gonna do. And I know you can do it many different ways, but I'm gonna show you how I put them together, and they're super fast. So just to show you my little bookcase, this is uh, from Dollar Tree, and I gave it some color to make it look a little more vintage and some background and added the little shelves, and these little mini books are all from Rustic Playgrounds. So we're gonna make one with the August kit. These are really simple and easy to make, and you can add them to different um, pages. You can put them inside cards and pockets, but I really enjoy um, putting them on my little bookshelf here, and the little pages you can open and see um, the ones that you like. So this is from the Vintage Sewing Kit. Such a cute one. All right, so we're going to do... Um, the August kit, which is French toile. Uh, toile. I hope I'm saying that right. French toile. Anyway, so this is the book cover. So there's one, two, three, four, five um, sets. So there's um, this set right here, and then there's a copy. So you could do an inside and an outside which I like to do because I like to cover the inside. And then this says, this page is your actual pages that go inside your book. And that's all this is. And it shows you how to fold them. I'll show you how I do it. And these go on the inside of your book. All right. So the first thing that you have to do is just decide which cover you want. So I think we'll do either the B. What should we do? Should we do a flower? Or, oh, let's do... Um, Let's, let's do, oh um, gosh, it's hard to choose. They're all so cute. Let's do this bottom one. Let's just do the bottom one. So I'm going to cut both of these out. And then what I like to do is add two sets of pages. So maybe we'll just take the bottom two to create the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Now I'm cutting the book pages out and I'm cutting right up to the edge. I'm not going to leave a lot of white but she's got these lined up such as they are easy to cut and you don't have to worry about, you know, that margin or anything because it lines up for all of them. So we're just gonna cut these out. I'm gonna cut this, these two pieces out. I'm not gonna leave them together. And then all I have to do is line this up like that. And I'm just gonna cut these two pages out and you can do it however you're comfortable with. Everyone has a little bit different technique. So, now because the pink has some pretty green to it, I wanted to see about using some green ink uh, around the edges, but I want to go light. So, I don't want it to be too much depth or into the design. So I'm just going real lightly around the edge and you can see the difference like that. You could use your scoring tool um, and your trimmer or whatever you have or scoreboard to score the 
folds, but I'm just going to I'm just going to fold it along the edge. You can see it pretty well and use my bone folder. So then you'll have your uh, cover like this. And then you can go over these if you want to. Okay. Then you'll do the other one. And so one will be the outside and one will be the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold this one. Okay, so your book cover will have an inside already when you glue that in. But one thing that you can see that I like to do is add a little charm to the book. You don't have to. And these I didn't do that way because I did the cover differently. This is the Alice in Wonderland one. But this one, I want to do it... Um, and go ahead and put my ribbon on the inside. So I think we'll go with a pink. And I just want my ribbon to fit inside here and then hang over this side. Not too long because the charm will um, be too long to hang over. So I want to be careful and just cut this right here. Okay. And so you see, you can use all kinds of bits to, um, you know, use up your scraps. Okay, so we can just glue that in like that. Now, to put on the uh, little charm, I'm using a bulb pen. This is a little one. That one will be perfect. So we're just going to put it over here. Is that good enough? I think so. I don't know if I'm going to use that for this one. All right, so then we're just going to take the bulb pin and put it through the ribbon. And then we'll glue it in. So I like to just put it through the ribbon. Kind of like a safety pin. Like that. If you can see that very well. And then that's going to hang down like that. All right, so for the spine, we're just gonna take some glue. And we're gonna put this here. And then we can glue on top of it. And that'll hold it in place really nicely. So we're just gonna start with the middle. And set that inside here. And then we're going to take this side and glue it down. Now I don't have a cover on my table, so I'm being very careful about this. Just line that up. And then on this side, do the same thing. And then if you need to trim or if you're pages don't fit exactly you can trim those up or you can add ribbon like this I think I might just add some ribbon there I think that would look cute all right so this is going to hang like that the little charm now to do the inside what I like to do is she's got these lines here it shows you exactly where to fold so I do a mountain fold on that first one which is about halfway and I just press that in with my bone folder. And then on the next one, I just fold that like a valley fold. And then this last one, I fold it to where it's even, and it's usually correct, another mountain fold. And you can see that's creating your pages. So we fold. Mountain, valley, mountain. Okay, once you have them all folded, um, then you can just glue them in. And I like to do two, like I said, and they'll glue in and make the book a little bit fuller to me. Um, but you don't have to, you can just do one and it's just perfect. So what I do is I put glue right on the pages where they come together and then I set them in the little mini book. 
And then I'm gonna put some more glue just to kind of help it hold. And I haven't had any trouble uh, with these falling apart at all. So, but I don't open and shut them a lot either. So once they're made, they're pretty much made. Now you could write little messages in there or put little, um, little pictures, little mini pictures. I just think they're so cute. And I'm gonna just let this set for a second and grab some ribbon to go on the outside and the back and on the front. This may not be real easy to see, but this is just a little piece of lace from a, a whole spool that I got from a Timu. And it has a little center right here that you can cut in half. And I measured it to fit the book cover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it to the outside right here and let it kind of hang over. And then we'll do the same thing to the back. Now the book has got a set, so I'm sure it's not set yet. But you could um, also do a hot glue if you wanted to. So I'm just putting a little bit on here. Letting it hang over. And then lost my other piece. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. Kind of blends in. So then we're gonna put a line of glue here. Just a line. And then we're gonna take this one and lay it here so that the little ruffle edges, scalloped edges are pointing out. And I'm trying to get it about the same over. So then my little book is here and with a charm and then my pages on the inside. All my little pages, can't get my fingers in there. There you go, and you can write little notes in there too. Anyway, that is your mini book from the August French Toile set. Hope I'm saying that right. And um, if you are interested in checking out Rustic Playgrounds um, membership, which includes all the stuff in her Etsy shop, the past kits as well. Um, you can definitely click that link below and it's an affiliate link just to let you know. And then if you don't want to do that, these are also available in her, um, her Etsy shop. So I'm going to take this one and it's going to fit on my bookshelf. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.